didn't see you guys there. Oh my god. I mean, you should probably like knock next time. Jesus. Shit. But yeah, before we get started, look out tonight at 5 p.m. Central Time. We're gonna be doing a Pokemon Insurgents live blind Nuzlocke. I have never played this game before. I'm super duper excited to experience this with you guys, and uh, I really just hope to see you guys at the live stream. It's gonna be an awesome solo series, and I cannot wait. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, I'll be honest with you guys, this is actually my seventh video I've recorded today, and I almost didn't do it, right? I almost decided, you know what, let me just hang my hat up on the hanger, let me go to bed, uh, and, and do this tomorrow, let me hold off on it, but you know what? You know what? I saw this comment from Vinny on Twitter, and you know what, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna fucking push through. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Vinny, thank you, man. He says, I love how hard you've been working. There's no reality where you fail. Any self-doubt you have is simply you creating your own demons that are simply untrue. I love you and respect you, Vinny. Love you too, man. Thank you so much. So with that being said, welcome to the legendary Pokemon tier list. Hopefully you guys are excited. Hopefully you guys are pumped. Thank you all so much for supporting these tier list videos. I really, really do appreciate it. You know, we have a lot of really cool legendary Pokemon here. We got like Yuxi. He's pretty solid. We got Verizion, Verizon tower cell service over here. We got Salaceon. I just said Salaceon. I don't even know if that's a Pokemon. I just said it and kind of hoped it was. Hang on a second. Salaceon. What the f*** is that? I know I've heard it before. I don't- Oh, it's a town! It's a f***ing town! Alright, I don't know what that intro was, but how are you guys doing? Welcome back to the next tier list video here on the channel. We're rocking out- Oh my god, that voice crack. As I was saying before, my prepubescent 12-year-old self just kind of came from the womb there. Thank you all so much for supporting these tier list videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them. You guys are the absolute best. And we're back doing some legendary Pokemon tier list making. Getting straight into it, as you can see, we have a lot of legendaries here. And I'll be honest, when I first looked at this list, I was just like, whoa, there's a lot of legendaries uh, that I don't quite recognize. Also, I had no idea that Titan Mole was a legendary, but okay. Um, anyways, yeah, there's a lot of legendaries here that kind of flew under the radar for me. A lot of legendaries that I did not expect to be ranking here. And a lot of these legendaries, I'm honestly just kind of like, middle ground down. I don't really have a lot of crazy preferences when it comes to legendary Pokemon. Let's go ahead and start from the top and make our way down. Starting off, I'm going to throw Mewtwo in the S tier. I fucking love Mewtwo. He's a classic. The movie was pretty solid. Actually, both movies were pretty solid. One movie was pretty solid for nostalgia factor. The other one was just cool because, oh boy, Mewtwo, you know? Actually, no, Mew 3 at the time. Everybody thought the Mega Evolution was Mew 3. That was just a fucking classic time. Man, it really brings it back to X and Y. I miss X and Y a lot. But yeah, Mew Two incredible Pokemon. I'm gonna have to put him S tier. He's freaking amazing. Also in S tier, I'm gonna put my favorite legendary or one of my favorite legendaries. I actually have two uh, legendaries that that take the number one slot for me, and that's gonna be Rayquaza as well as Garatina. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just a fan of snakes, but bro, these Pokemon are just so damn cool. I love Garatina's alternate forms. Uh, same goes with, with Rayquaza. I love Mega Rayquaza. Its brokenness is just insane. And like, I know some people would look at how OP it is and be like okay okay you're a game freak you're on you're off your meds just like take a step back and let's uh delete this from the game but no i love it man it's crazy broken crazy incredible and they're both just really awesome pokemon i really can't say much more than that um they're just incredible i love the designs and just it's always a pleasure working with these mods so next up in s tier i'm actually gonna have a couple of uh, s tier picks here and the next s tier pick is gonna be dark Rye. i love dark Rye so damn much and the main reason why i mean of course its design is beautiful uh its typing is really cool Cool. It's just a f awesome, ominous Pokemon. But the main reason why I love Darkrai, and there's a bit of a backstory towards this, the main reason why is because of the movie, The Rise of Darkrai. I don't know what it is, man, but that movie just has so much nostalgic value for me. I remember back in the day, me and my brother, we used to go to the library and rent the movie all the time, and I actually used to be scared of it. So you would think, you know, as a little kid being terrified of The Rise of Darkrai, you would think, okay, maybe, maybe that's not going to be my favorite legendary when I grow up. But no, no, it's incredible, man. I love Darkrai. I love just the ominous feeling about it. Uh, and that movie just still to, to this day is my favorite Pokemon movie. It's just so cool having him be so ominous and just incredible. Also, uh, the song they play on the leaf, what's it called? What's it called? Oh my god, I, I call myself a Rise of Dark Rye fan and I don't even know the song. It's something Grace, maybe. Song from Rise of Dark Rye. What is it? It's Arasteon! Arasteon! Oh my god! Can I play this without getting copywritten? I'm gonna get feels. <sighs> This song actually makes me want to cry, like dead ass. I'm not. I'm not even fronting. I'm not even fronting. There's so much nostalgia and so many just feels with this song. It hits, dude. It hits home. 
Oh my god, that's such a pop! Oh my god! Alright, alright, I can't, I can't listen to that anymore. I will actually tear up. Uh, moving on though to A tier. I think we're on A tier now. I don't think any any other uh, mons here are really gonna fall into A tier. I mean, there are a lot of really cool legendaries here. I don't know, I don't know if they quite make the A tier slot. I'm kind of skimming through here, or not A tier. I mean S tier. I can't speak. Yeah, I don't think any other mods are gonna quite hit the S tier here. So let's go ahead and move on, move down to A tier. Uh, you know, maybe we can move some mods up depending on how the final roster looks. But going into A tier, I'm actually gonna put Kyogre. And uh, the reason why is because I have a little bit of a history with Kyogre back in the day as a kid. And it's even just kind of crazy to be thinking about this story now because I haven't really thought about it in a very long time. But back during the Diamond and Pearl era of the Pokemon games, uh, me and my brother, we had this babysitter at the time. And uh, this was obviously, you know, a long, long time ago, considering the fact that I was, you know, young enough for a babysitter. But we had a babysitter at the time. It was this teenage kid uh, that uh, actually had a Kyogre and he ended up trading it to me. Uh, way back in the day he gave it to me in my copy of Pearl this Kyogre ended up coming with me and being transferred through a ton of games as I kept progressing forward throughout my Pokemon career so I ended up taking this Kyogre from Pearl bringing it into black and white and then from black and white bringing it into X and Y and I'm pretty sure it's in my Oras game right now I'm like 99.9% .9 sure but it's just kind of nostalgic because this was really the only Pokemon that I did that with uh, you know it's nothing crazy it's not like transferring from gen 3 all the way to gen 7 or anything like that uh, but it's just kind of feelsy for me it's kind of you know sentimental for me because I got it at such a young age and the fact that the Kyogre kind of carried with me throughout the entire time period I mean I used the Kyogre in so many situations throughout the years and you know as I kind of grew more accustomed to the franchise and uh, you know uh, grew more of a more of a Pokemon fan I kind of realized uh, towards the end especially as I started getting into my you know competitive days I realized that the Kyogre was totally genned in like this had six IVs, like he was rock and roll in the modest nature. So Kyogre wasn't exactly the most legit Pokemon in the world, but it still had a lot of sentimental value to me. So anyways, uh, that's probably the most, you know, backstory you guys are going to get out of any of these Pokemon, to be honest. Like these, these higher tiers are really where the personal stories end, if I'm being real. But anyways, moving down the pipeline, uh, I don't know, man. I want to say Zekrom. I want to say Zekrom in A tier. I love Zekrom a lot, and I guess Zekrom also kind of has a personal story as well. I just, I just have a lot of feels with Black and White. Uh, I invested a lot of time in the Gen 5 games, and I just, I love the Gen 5 games a lot, and I think Zekrom is just such a cool Pokemon to represent those games. I mean, I, I remember going into GameStop and picking up Gen 5 uh, with my dad and, like, having to choose between black and white, and of course, I chose, uh, I chose white because typically what ends up happening, in case you guys don't know how I go through and, and choose which version of the game I get, uh, typically I choose just based on the cover legendary alone. So me personally as a kid, and even now, um, I preferred Zekrom, so that's kind of what led me in that direction. And that's that's honestly why a lot of these Pokemon uh, kind of stand out over their duo counterpart. And it's because I just chose based on my preference of the two Pokemon uh, as, a, as a part, as a as a little segment, if that makes any sense. So anyways, I think I'm gonna throw Yveltal an A. I think that's the move. Um, I just really like Yveltal. His design is sick, his whole like, just concept is really cool. He's shaped like a letter, which happens to be my 14th favorite letter in the alphabet, so that's definitely a plus. Uh, I think he's just awesome, man. He's just cool. Moving on. Polkia. Polkia, I'm gonna give a B tier. Um, actually, I'm gonna give Polkia and Dialga. Uh, I'm, I might move them to A tier. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. This is hard. This is hard. I feel like this is going to be a lot easier once we get more mons in there. More mons for me to, like, compare these Pokemon to. Uh, but as of right now, we'll, we'll keep them in B tier. The reason why is just because, you know, once again, I, I loved the Rise of Darkrai. And, like, just, just hearing, like, Pokeus cry. Uh, just kind of gets me in the feels and also I played Pokemon Pearl as a kid So using Polkia and seeing it at uh, at Spear Pillar was always sick One of my favorite things about Gen 4 actually my favorite thing about Gen 4 is the legendary Pokemon I love the legendaries uh, from Gen 4. That's my favorite thing about that generation But anyways moving on I'm gonna throw Arceus I think a and the reason why is just because I really like the idea of a god Pokemon and I love the concept of him being able to change type like that that is incredible. I love that idea. Love that concept. Uh, moving on, uh, man, I don't know. A lot of these Pokemon I'm kind of just impartial about. You know, I'm kind of just like, yeah, they're cool, you know? Um, let's see, though. Lunala. Lunala, I'm going to put B tier. Uh, I like Lunala. He's okay. 
he's solid. I think that's really all I have to say about him. I'm going to put Sokaleo in B tier as well. Um, they're just they're just okay for me. I don't really have a lot of special attachment to them. I never really got into uh, Sun and Moon, to be honest. Gen, Gen 7 just really wasn't my gig. But uh, overall, uh, they are pretty solid. I do like those Pokemon a good amount. Yo, it's kind of crazy. So these are all legendary Pokemon. I would have thought that like Koopa would be mythical. Or like, um, or like Celebi would be mythical. Are those Pokemon not mythical? What makes a Pokemon mythical? And what makes a Pokemon legendary? I know this is saying, you know, legendary mods, but then, you know, if you have, if you're, if you're including mythical underneath the branch of legendary, then why isn't like Marshadow here? You know, you would think Marshadow would be here. Um, Tapu Koko. Let's go ahead and go with him. Tapu Koko, I would say is B tier. I actually really like Tapu Koko. He's just sick. He's just sick. I, I don't know what else to say about him. I really like him. He's definitely my favorite out of the Tapus. Uh, and if we're going to rank the rest of the Tapus while we're at it, I'll go ahead and give Tapu Fini a C tier. I'll give Bulu. You know, I like Bulu. I just don't really have much of an opinion on him, if that makes sense. Like, he's just kind of there, if I'm being honest. I'll put him D tier just for that reason alone. Like, he's, he's okay. And I feel like if I got more use out of him, if I actually, like, you know, used him in battle or whatever, I think I'd like him. It's just like... I don't know. Compared to the rest of the mods, I really have like no attachment to him. Same with the with Feeny. Or what the f*** is this? Lele. That's what it is. Uh, yeah, no, I, I would say D tier. And that's not saying they're bad. I do like them. Uh, it's just I have nothing. I, I have no attachment to them, if that makes any sense. Like, I have nothing kind of, you know, bringing me towards them. This list is going to be is gonna be very personal. Not going to lie. A lot of these Pokemon are being chosen uh, for reasons that are very personal. And of course, just throwing this out there, if you guys want to leave your own list down below, and of course, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll drop the tier list down below in the description if you guys want to go ahead and fill it out. You guys are more than welcome to. Tweet them at me, at Ashford Videos. You already know what's good. But anyways, 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 anyways. We got Latios and Latias. I love Latios and Latias. I'm going to give them a B tier just because I like the whole sister thing. The Megas are really cool. Uh, their their role in uh, in the movies are pretty sick. And uh, they're just overall, they're, they're pretty solid mods. They, they might, they might end up in C tier. If I had to rank them in the grand scheme of the B tier, I'd say they're low B tier. Uh, but they're still very solid, not gonna lie. So, moving on. Uh, Raikou, Entei, and Suicune. I think I'm gonna put them all in B tier. Honestly, I think that might be the move. I like them. None of them like really stand out to me compared to the rest of the mons here, but uh, they're still very cool. Very solid mons. I don't really have any too strong opinions about them. Same with Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. I have like my preferences within these groups, but uh, overall, I would say like the whole group just kind of lands in B tier. Like there's no, there's no one Pokemon in these groups that really is, is likable enough to me to where it would bump it up to the same tier as like Arceus and Yveltal. All. So that's where I'm gonna put it. We got Lugia here though. Now I love Lugia in every situation except for sixth and seventh gen. F them. F that 3D model. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate it. I actually hate it. We're getting into some like strongly worded opinions here on the tier list. Let me explain, right? I love Lugia. Lugia is awesome. As a Pokemon, he's sick. But ever since Gen 6 with that model, I cannot stand it. It's just gross. He looks like a flubber nugget rubber chicken, and it makes me sad, uh, especially compared to his sprite model. Like, his sprite just looks so aerodynamic, so cool. But then you throw the 3D model in the mix, and it's just like, hoo 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 hoo. I'm just like, bro, shut the f up. Just get out of my f game. So I'm going to put him at, uh, I, I hate to drop him in C tier. I do. I, I hate to. I really do. But that model brings him down for me. Like literally, if it weren't for that model, he would be A tier. Actually would be A tier. Um, but now like every time I think of Lugia, I just, I can't, un I can't unsee it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He is, he is so damn cool in, um, in his movie though. He is so damn cool. And actually every movie he pops up in, um, his design is really sick. It's just, boy, they f***ed up that model. And it's just the only thing I can think about. Now to cover his counterpart here, we're going to put Ho-Oh in, uh, in B tier. I like Ho-Oh. I like Ho-Oh more than Lugia. I would say overall, uh, he's very solid. I like the whole concept of a Phoenix, po Phoenix Pokemon. Uh, he's just sick. He's just sick. That's all I really have to say about it. Now, the Reggies. I'm going to put the Reggies B tier. Um, I don't really have a preference when it comes to individual Reggies. Like, I don't think either of them are really good enough to say B and A tier. But they're all very solid. I really like the, the concept of them. And I love the puzzle that it takes to get to them. Like, I think that puzzle is just so appealing with the Waylord and the f***ing Relicanth. Like, that, that sh is just, it's so wild 
It is so wild, but I think it's really, really freaking cool. Um, anyways, also, uh, one thing that I forgot to mention about Solgaleo and Lunala, I totally forgot, but I love how they're the first legendary Pokemon that can evolve. I think that's awesome. I think that's actually really, really sick, and it's something about them that makes them stand out. Like, you guys will, you will come to find, especially over the past couple of tier lists, you guys will come to find that I love Pokemon that stand out for one reason or another, and uh, those Pokemon just absolutely do stand out in that regard, so fantastic. Uh, anyways, though, we got Groudon here. Groudon, I'm going to put B tier as well. Groudon's definitely upper B tier uh, for sure. He's just sick. He's just sick. <laughs> That's all I can really say. He's just really cool. Uh, we have Deoxys here. I'm going to put Deoxys B tier as well. A lot of these Pokemon are just kind of falling into B tier because they're kind of just, they're kind of just good. They're kind of just really solid. Um, none of these Pokemon are kind of on the same level as these, though. That's kind of the way I'm judging it. That's the way I've been judging all these tier lists. Is I look at the tier above and I say, okay, is this Pokemon on this level? If not, we're going to bump it back down. Um, so I hate to kind of group them all in one tier like this, but honestly, this is just kind of how I feel about them. Uh, Deoxys is really cool, though. I love the form changes. Um, I love the whole idea of Deoxys. The concept is sick. He's definitely upper B tier. Absolutely. Uh, we have Xerneas here. Xerneas is going to be B tier as well. I love Xerneas. He's just cool. <laughs> He's just sick. The first fairy type legendary. I mean, that's just fantastic. Uh, moving on, we have Cresselia. Cresselia, I'm going to put C, C or D tier. I'll put him C for now. I like Cresselia. It's just, I don't see him enough. You know, he just, I feel like he just gets downplayed. Like, especially compared to Darkrai, like, oh, like, bro, like, you, you, you need to take a nap or something like oh my god you need to take a nap and then wake up as a as just a better pokemon like let's let's be real here um but no Cresselia is cool it's just not not my favorite he's just kind of he's just kind of okay uh to say the least so moving on we got mew i'm gonna put mew b tier i love mew he's cute um i don't think he's quite on this tier but he's great i love him a lot the whole concept of him and being a clone of mewtwo or not being a clone of mewtwo but being the originator of mewtwo like that's just a fantastic uh the whole behind the truck you know, uh, Easter egg, whatever, whatever. That's just awesome. Uh, moving on though, we have Zygarde. Zygarde, I love Zygarde, but God, they really did my boy dirty. They really did my boy dirty. I hate, I hate how they handled Zygarde. Zygarde is such a cool Pokemon. The concept, oh my God. Oh, like having multiple forms of percentages with cells. Are you shitting me? Are you That's the coolest concept since sliced bread. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking putting this man in, 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 in sun and moon and just disgracing him like that. He needed his own game. I will pioneer for Pokemon Z um, until I die. Like, absolutely. He got gypped. He got absolutely gypped. But he is a fantastic Pokemon. I love his forms. Um, I love just, as I said, the concept of him. The original Zygarde, uh, even just the base form is incredible. He's just great. He's just great. Also, his role in the XYZ anime was really sick. That was like the first time I had gotten back into the Pokemon anime since the original season. Uh, and seeing him involved with that, excuse me, was just fantastic. So, anyways, uh, we got Necrozma here. F***ing twig ass. Looking legs. Looking like me. I see you, boy. Uh, we're going to put him... I'll put him B tier. I don't really know enough about Necrozma. Um, actually, you know... God, you know, it, it kind of it kind of pains me to put him above Lugia, to be honest. We're going to put him in C tier. I, I like Necrozma, uh, but I'll be honest with you guys. I just, I didn't really get into Sun and Moon, or specifically Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I didn't get into it enough uh, to really understand him. I don't know his, his story. I don't know his origin. Um, I don't know what the f*** Ultra Necrozma is even thinking, doing on this planet. Uh, I think Ultra Necrozma is sick. Like, I think the design is freaking awesome. I just don't know enough about it. And I, you know, what's funny is I played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, but I played it in the co-op with Ryan. So, of course, we didn't look at the game at all. We didn't, we didn't pay attention. So, um, I don't know anything about Necrozma. I'm sure if I looked into the backstory and I got invested in, in his, uh, you know, his story and stuff like that, I'm sure he could make it into B tier. But as of right now, like, with how little I know about him, I, I just, I can't say he's better than Lugia, honestly, is, is the real... Uh, contender here. I just don't have as much of a personal connection with him, honestly. I think that's really what this boils down to. Uh, even though I do really like its forms, uh, or its, yeah, well, its, its fused forms, I think that's just awesome. Uh, same kind of concept as Kiram. I just haven't been acquainted with him, if that makes any sense. Uh, moving on, though, speaking of, like, fusions and stuff like that, we're gonna put Regiram as well as Kiram into B tier. I think these Pokemon are fantastic. 
I love the idea of Pokemon Fusions. I love the fact that Pokemon Fusions are canon. That is something that I, I honestly never really expected the Pokemon company to do, but the fact that Fusions are indeed canon is uh, incredible. I love the whole truth versus ideals thing. Uh, Kiram is just a beast. I He's sick. He's just great. He's just fantastic, so I'm going to put him there. Uh, moving on, Magearna. I'm going to put Magearna in D tier. I just, it's one of those things where, like, I just don't know enough about Magearna. I saw the movie with him, uh, but I never just, like, I never really resonated with him. He looks like a rabbit ate a godfather clock, and, I mean, that's cool and all, but, like, I don't know. I just don't know enough about him, honestly. Like, if, if a Pokemon is this low in the tier list, either A, I have no personal connection to them, uh, or B, I don't know, if, know enough about them. Honestly, I think that's basically it. Or I just hate their f***ing model. I'm looking at you, Lugia. Um, yeah, so that, that's really what kind of slaps them in C and D tier. And I would say Magearna falls into D tier. Like, it's cool. I do like its typing, for sure. Its design is is pretty solid. Um, it's just, it's just kind of there is honestly my my opinion on it like not saying it's bad d tier definitely isn't bad by any means it's just compared to these ones it just can't really stack up that's at least the way i'm looking at it uh so we have celebi here i'm gonna put celebi b tier i really like celebi he's just cool he's just cool the whole time travel mechanic the movie was pretty pretty okay uh pretty solid we got jirachi adorable i like jirachi a lot the wish maker really cool concept uh, just a great Pokemon. Fantastic. Now, C tier, I'm going to put the the, the, f***ing, the Lake Spirits. I, I know I was just talking about how my favorite thing about Gen 4 is the Legendaries, and that's still true. Um, I do love the Gen 4 Legendaries, but when it comes to the Lake Trio, I feel like I feel like they're, they're some of the weaker uh, trios, to be honest. Like, they're, they're cool, and I like how they represent emotion, uh, but they're just kind of bland, you know, compared to, like, Compared to like, you know, like Suicune and, and Entei and Raikou or Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos or the Regis. Like, they're just very bland by comparison. Um, I like the whole idea of them like being lake spirits. I think that's just a really cool concept. But outside of that, they don't really have much going for them, to be honest. Uh, moving on, we got Heatran. Heatran, I'm going to put B tier. Heatran solid. I really like Heatran a lot. Uh, Regigigas, I'm going to put B tier as well. I know Regigigas gets kind of, you know, absolutely demolished by anything that throws a stick at it. But, uh, you know, I like him. I like him. He's cool. He's massive. He's the king of the Regis. I find it super interesting how he was introduced um, like in Gen 4, while the Regis were Gen 3, like, that's just, that's kind of cool to me, I like how Gen 4 added on to a lot of what Gen 3 did, with, like, evolutions, and with, like, you know, a fourth part of the legendary circle, I really like that a lot, uh, moving on, we got Fiona and Manaphy, I'm gonna put them, I kind of want to give them B tier, but no, they're C tier, they're C tier. I mean, I like them, and I, I really like the concept. I like how if you breed a Manaphy, you get a Fion. Like, that's just, that's super cool. I love that idea. Um, and their designs, to me, are overall really cool. And also, Manaphy in the movie was really, really adorable. But honestly, I, I can't, I can't say it stacks up. I can't say uh, they're better than, like, Lugia. You know, Lugia is honestly kind of like the, the factor, the determining factor when it comes to this tier right here. And uh, Manaphy just doesn't quite top that, in my opinion. So, anyways, uh, Shaman. Shaman's f***ing adorable. I love Shaman. Put him in that B tier. His Sky Form is sick. Shout out, shout out. We got Cobalion, Tracambrizion. Um... I, I don't, okay, I don't like them as much as, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a dirty, I'm gonna put them C tier, I, you know, they're okay, they're okay, I just don't like them as much as the other trios, um, to be honest, and I think, I think Verizion could almost maybe be a D, or a B tier, just because I really like, uh, his design, but outside of that, um, I don't know, they're, they're just kind of okay, honestly, is my opinion on them, you know, I really liked, uh, encountering them, like, in the black and white games, I have really fond memories of, like, running into them throughout the region. Like, that was a really cool fond memory I have of them, but outside of that, uh, honestly, there's not much bringing them up to the B tier, so I'm gonna keep them in C. Moving on with the, uh, Tornadus, Thunderous, and Landorus. Um, <clears throat> you know, you know, you know, you know, I kinda wanna give them B tier, and, uh, actually... Mm, no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say they're upper C tier, and the reason why is because of their other forms. I really like like these forms are kind of like eh, whatever, you know. But their other forms like Landy Landorus Therian uh, or Thunderous, whatever the f 
and the other guy. Um, they're sick. But yeah, they're awesome. I really enjoy uh, these Pokemon, but more so I like their other forms than their main forms. Uh, and and I feel like I feel like they're kind of like on the same wavelength for me as like you know the Terrakion uh, trio. Uh, like I don't think they're quite up there with like Entei and Suicune and Raikou and stuff. So that's why I'm putting them on C tiers because I I feel like they're not they're, they're not quite there. You know, that's honestly the best way for me to describe it. But anyways, moving on, we got Keldeo here. I'm actually gonna put Keldeo in B tier. I like Keldeo a lot. He's just a really cool Pokemon. Water fighting is super interesting. Uh, and I just, I, I dig him. I dig him. He's sweet. He has a really cool story arc in the movie, and he's just pretty cool. Meloetta, I'm gonna give Meloetta a C tier. Meloetta is okay. Um, I think the whole music theme is really interesting, but honestly, I don't really like, like, when I think of Meloetta, I don't really think of her as a legendary Pokemon, and also, she's very forgettable. Honestly, she, she, she really is. Like, she could be forgotten with the drop of a pin i could you know go to sleep one night and wake up and be like who the fuck is meloetta so yeah that's why meloetta is c tier uh she's just okay moving on though we got genesect genesect is going to be b tier i really like the whole concept of genesect just being like another man-made pokemon having the drive the disc drives like that's just sick he's just he's just cool he's just cool that's all i really gotta say about him i'm uh, moving on savali i'm gonna say savali and type no are gonna be b tier um honestly i didn't even know they were legendary but I, apparently they are um yeah yeah, no, they're sick. They're sick. I love the idea. I love the concept. I love how they, they tried to make uh, an Arceus. And I'll be honest, I haven't really been caught up on the, the lore and the origin of these Pokemon. It's been a long time since I've touched Sun and Moon, but from what I remember, uh, they were incredible. I love uh, Gladion as well. Gladion is one of my favorite characters in the Pokemon franchise, so having you know his that be his partner Pokemon is fantastic. And uh, I, just, I just gotta give it to him, man. I just gotta give it to him, man. So volley and type null are great. We got Cosmo, whatever the f this thing is. You know what? I'm gonna give him C tier, literally just because he weighs like three bajillion pounds, right? I I don't know what it is about this Pokemon, but he literally just weighs like a nuke. I don't understand why or how. I guess it's just because he's so dense. And honestly, this Pokemon is so damn forgettable. Like I don't even like. Is this even a Pokemon? I don't even know anymore. Um. But he's just, he's cool. He's cool. I'll give him that. Once again, he gets props for being an evolution into the legendaries. Like, that's just really cool. Um, and also, he gets props for being such a heavy-ass Pokemon. That makes him stand out a lot, and I like that a lot. Even though he is uh, very forgettable outside of that. But moving on, we're going to put Cosmog in the same tier as well. I think Cosmog is just cute, honestly. A whole Galaxy Nebula Pokemon is just adorable. Uh, and I just, I got to give it to him, I, I would say. So, I, I give him I give him props. Uh, not only for the evolution thing, but also just for being a extremely adorable uh moving on we got hoopa here i i like hoopa unbound i do hoopa himself is kind of eh but hoopa unbound ah uh, he's actually kind of lit not gonna lie i'm gonna i'm gonna give him b tier um i just think he's cool i just think he's sick he's just a monstrous entity and i respect that uh moving on Deancy here i'm gonna give Deancy b tier as well just because Deancy and the mega uh is really cool i've always been a big fan of Deancy. i just think it's a really creative pokemon being like the leader of the carbink uh i think that's really sick as well uh, and i just i just think it's a really sick mon and the fact that it has a mega as well uh is just awesome it's a pretty forgettable mega for the most part and you don't really see it that often but i do like mega deontzi a lot so i'm gonna give it props here uh then moving on our last mon here volcanion i'm gonna give volcanion a b tier because volcanion is really really solid its type is fantastic uh the design is pretty okay and i really love the whole steam aesthetic going on there so i think that is going to be uh, my tier list. Let me know what you guys think about this down below uh, in the comment section. I'm kind of just reviewing it one last time, and I think, I think this is accurate. Honestly, I think this this stands up fairly well. Maybe, maybe I would move Tapu Koko up, um, or no. I'd, if I if I were gonna move any Pokemon up, it would probably be Pokia, either Pokia, um, or maybe Kira. I don't know. I don't. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I think this is okay. You know, once again, I feel like you guys are gonna be the most upset about Lugia being in C tier. I'm sorry. I, I hate to do it to him. And like, as I said, if it weren't for that model, he would absolutely uh, be like A tier. At least at, he'd be upper B tier at the very least. Um, but that model just kills me, man. Like, I'll, I'm, I'm being honest. Like, I literally cannot think of this Pokemon without that model, that disgusting Flubber Nugget chicken. So, 
Anyways, though, um, thank you all so much, though, for watching. Seriously, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good kind of stuff. You guys are the absolute best. Let me know what you think of the tier list. Let me know what opinions you guys have. Drop it down below. Look forward to more tier lists. And also, friendly reminder, look out for the Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke dropping right after this video. It's going to be going up at 5 p.m. Central Time. I'm super excited to get this started with you guys. I'm super excited to get going with this brand new solo project with this game that I've never touched before. So I hope to see you guys there. But thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the absolute best. And I will see you guys next time. Peace. Bye.